Alright, hey, Doug. When Doug gets set and, up, he's moving it. Uh, yeah, I'm moving that when I'm done. And first thing you do when you set up at a remote site, we're at uh, Bill's place, is you try to get level. Excuse me. Is yes. Robin listening to this? Yes. Robin, excellent Christmas gift for the chair. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's staying up in Cadillac. Thank you. <laughs> so we're pretty pretty well level with the platform. So the next piece right is going to be the rocker box section. So first thing we do, yeah, get out right now. Start with this side. This is the one with the altitude drive on it. Set that down. This one I always have a little difficulty getting in line because it's heavier. You guys will figure it out. Since I like to sit while I'm doing stuff. In your new chair? Yes, in my new chair. <laughs> All right, got the two sides on. You get the middle piece here. Well, there it is. Oops. Got the middle piece. Snap goes up. Lots of knobs. <laughs> By the way, the cinematographer right now is John Lyons behind the camera there. I, I, I'm chuckling back here watching you screw all those those little bolts in that are just barely long enough, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Upper tube assembly in. Which I have to come get out of the car. Yeah, see, I don't have all that. Yeah, I forgot. You're right. The cameras are really heavy. And. into the main mount. And the lower section is assembled. Okay. Next thing we need is our press tube. Uh, 
I'm pulling this stuff out of the car as I set it up. Let's raise our seat. Is this yours or mine? It's mine. It's yours. Huh? <laughs> out that mirror thing? Uh, it actually stopped once I put it in the observatory. Wait, wait again? It stopped doing, uh, you mean the, the white residual stuff? Yeah. I haven't seen it since then. Oh. So I don't good. know. When I talked to Ryan, I thought, well, maybe it's uh, mold or something. The first few times it is kind of but in any case. Gary Stewart. Yes, sir. Give me a hand, please. Sure. Back Gary up. Stewart. Oh. What are you gonna do? Man, they're coming out of the woodwork here. Yeah. <laughs> you got much use out of it like last year? Oh yeah, I was. I've been out the last two nights. Back at uh, the observatory at my house. Uh -huh. um, I was going to come up early, but I didn't want to be up here nah, by myself. So it's going up, baby. I stayed well, if, if I didn't have to wait for something in the mail, uh, yeah. I, I might have been up here with you. Because I could see this might last night might be one of the best nights of the week. Yeah, it was pretty good last night, even down where we were. All right, now I got to get the upper tube assembly. And the wife was over at Houghton Lake telling me how great the skies were there. Hey, yep. Bob Halsell, we need you for a second. Sure. All right. Here's the upper tube assembly. Stretch there, it looks like. Okay. That way. This goes on like so. Oop. Get it on the platform. Can we read that thing? There we go. Or see it? Yeah. Oh, what are you videoing? The scope would be ready to use just as a regular dob without any go-to or anything. So it's all set to go. You set the clutches it the way you want, whatever. Just take off the covers. I want to do a collimation, which we'll do a little later. But for now, the next thing we're going to do is put on the uh, shroud.
tight skirt, I bet. <laughs> or. <laughs> oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Two things, a couple things that this helps with. This ambient light coming in from the side, keeping some of the dew off the primary, and keeping me from dropping eyepieces on my primary in the middle of the night. Very functional from that point of view. Okay, I'm not going to put it all the way down because I'm going to have to take the, the lower assembly cover off to move my collimation and get started. So, that's the uh, regular setup. The next thing is we start putting all the electronics down. And all of that is located in my bag here. So, drop the seat down a little bit. And let's see what we got in this goodie box. Well, we got our uh, hand controller. It plugs in. Uh, plugs into these altitude control or altitude uh, gear system. And we just put this in the. And this holder here, this wonderful holder that I just love so much. <laughs> Here's the uh, Wi-Fi telescope control, which I use to hook my iPad to wirelessly when I uh, get the scope running. For now, we just hook it here. You can run the scope without that. You can run it just with the hand pedal if you want. All right, so we got a bungee cord here, which is going to hold the battery. We'll do that a little bit. And we've got a uh, power cord number three, which actually is for this uh, wireless hub. But then again, I mean, it's if you're going to build a dome, set that right there for now. I build off the put this down here. We have the. Uh, Cable that runs between the altitude and the azimuth gear systems. The power comes into this, routes out through this, down into the uh, azimuth one, along with communications. Oops. There we go. Put that in there. Get that out of the way a little bit. Here's our dew zapper control. Which will put the controller up here. There's some Velcro up here. I'm just going to set it on, on, the, on the top there and run it down to this side because this is where the battery's going to be. We have here our uh, three way outlet for the DC power. It's going to go over here. There's a little bit of Velcro over here where the battery's going to be. Set up right there. Okay. Yeah, let's see here. This is the power for the telescope. Power for the telescope goes into here. And we're going to route it through the uh, rocker box so it's out of the way. a few times. And it'll go right in there. And then the heaters will go right in here. Nope, not that. This heater goes right in here. Is this for uh, future the, uh, how to put it together? Wireless hub will go into here. Yes. Side here. That cable's obviously way too long, but it's what I had as a spare. <laughs> yeah. This we got is a uh, GPS unit. It's magnetic on the unit, so I'm going to 
put it onto the tube assembly. And wrap it uh, over the top here. I only use this to start the scope up. After it's started up, I don't need it. What the G, uh, GPS does for me is tells me where I am on the planet and what time it is so I can start aligning correctly the uh, telescope. Once that's done, I actually disconnect the GPS and hook up the wireless hub in the same port that the GPS is in. So that's the setup there. What else we got in the goodie box here? Oh, got our heaters. This is the uh, heat strap that I use for the eyepieces. So I'm just going to put it here temporarily and plug it into the control box. Which reminds me, I have another cable I have to pull up through here from the secondary. Because this is the heater for the secondary. Oh yes, my easy finder, which I only use for the beginning of the night, and that is just to get my two-star alignment. After that, I don't use it. And that goes right there. Now, let's see if there's anything else. There's nothing else in the box. So I think I must be done. Except I have to put my this back in the, in the bag. Close it up. So, one other thing is, where did I put it? There it is. The battery. Got a cable that's caught somewhere. Yep, there we go. Battery goes here, like so. This plugs into here, like so. What I'm not going to do right at the moment. Since we're not going to power it up until later tonight. And then I put uh, this little cord onto the battery just to keep it from coming off the, uh, the rocker box. And that's the setup. All ready to go. Skies. Thanks.